Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial on uh, opening a Windows hosts file as administrator with notepad so that you can edit and save the file and uh, if you are like me who need to do this again and again every day it's really pretty disturbing to open the notepad first as administrator then using the menu open the host file edit and save it so it's pretty disturbing so we'll try to create a shortcut for that so to create a shortcut where you want to create the shortcut right click on uh, for example I am creating the shortcut on my desktop so I'll go to new then shortcut here I will write notepad provide a space then percentage system root percentage backslash system 32 backslash drivers backslash etc backslash hosts this is where your host file live so next and give it a name for example we're giving uh, test finish oh I have a file with the name test so I have to give it some other test 2 finish so now if I click I see my host file is opened but the problem is that it's not opening as administrator so to do it I will right click and select properties then I will go to the advanced button under the shortcut tab and select run as administrator and that's it apply ok now when you double click the shortcut icon it will first ask you for your confirmation to run it as administrator then it will run the host file now you can do some changes for example I changed save it and it is saved so now the next time if I open it you see the change is saved so that's it it's pretty cool, quite easy just uh, take a look once again it's just uh, for example let me write you Control. Okay, it's pretty simple. Notepad space percentage percentage system root backslash system thirty two slash drivers slash etc hosts. Actually, this is the location of the this this is the location of the uh, host file and this is the application that will run when you double click uh, the shortcut so this is the targeted application and this is the targeted file that will be opened with that application and this is it very short tutorial I hope this will help guys like me who's, uh, who works with virtual host in their computer when developing web applications so thank you for watching the video have good times.